In the dogfight, he's famous for having a killer mouth. Known for killing its opponents in no time. Today we are going to tell the story of the incredible Grand Champion Zebo. In the early 1970s, there was a young hobbyist named Lonzo Pratt, who was just getting started with Pitbull, buying dogs from well-known breeders. He purchased a young, fight-proven bitch from J. Lapisse named Faye. She was sold because she got cold, that is, she didn't want to fight anymore. She didn't fight Jack Kelly. She was sent to Lapisse for Pete Sparks. After several crossings, Lonzo surprised the world with a litter, which was born three males and two females. The two females were Lena and Rosie. The males were Crush, Vindicator, and Zero. Vindicator and Zero proved to be excellent fighting dogs. The best was Zero, or Zebo as it was later called. Zebo was considered a game dog, and a great breeder. Zebo's career began on Lester Hughes, the Mountain Man, court. Where he won four times. Quickly killing all opponents. After his fourth win, he was sent to Grady Cummings. Cummings' red fox hound. Made a fatal mistake in escaping the leash. He ran up to Zebo. And unfortunately Zebo killed him. Grady sternly asked Lester to get Zebo out of his yard. Zebo was sold to Dave Adams of Ohio. The man most associated with Zebo. Mr. Hughes had no intention of selling Zebo. But Mr. Adams offered enough money for him to change his mind. Zebo was best known for his match against Champion Greaser. Zebo Champion was a black dog. And Champion Greaser was a brindle. On a cold night in a barn in Ohio. Two big bulldogs. It's a complicated story, but it's interesting. The greaser champion at the time weighed 20 pounds, he was from Oklahoma. The North Carolina Zebo champion weighed in at 40 pounds. Greaser was an extremely intelligent defensive type dog. He had a powerful bite. He built a deserved reputation. Proving it in four fights, against dogs, that they were not weak. The same could be said about Zebo. The difference was that Zebo's fights were short. One in just 22 minutes. The other in 26 minutes. Another in just 17 minutes. And the fourth in 33 minutes. And every fight Zebo killed all his opponents. After his fourth victory. Adams bought Zebo and took it north to Ohio. Adams had a friend named Hudson. And he booked a fight with a dog. The fight was no weight of 20 kilos. Against a father and son on Isti. Lewis. Hudson's dog was owned by Maurice Carver. And he won the 20 pound weight twice. His name was TX. Hudson was a nice guy. But his bragging about his TX pissed everyone off. All you could hear from him was TX this, TX that. I think this T. Lewis got tired of listening to him. Figured if old Tex got his ass kicked Hudson would shut up. When you have a fight scheduled. It's best to do three things. Have a good fighting dog. Have a fit dog. And say your favorite prayer. Tex was injured before the fight, and Hudson had to pay a penalty for being unable to fight. Instead of paying cash, he called Adams and offered him a deal. If Adams goes with Zebo to fight and if Zebo wins, Hudson would split the winnings with him. If Zebo loses, Hudson would call the entire bet. At the time there was going to be a Mexican convention. Should be the biggest and best of all time. Adams thought he had almost three months until the Mexican convention. And the TX fight was in three weeks. Then he could take on Texas fight and win without serious damage. Then cure Zebo and tag him at the Mexican convention. Thus, he agreed to act in Luda. 
but he told his partner that if Zebo couldn't finish in 30 minutes, he would stop the fight because he wanted to participate in great convention. Hudson agreed to this. Because with the assassin Zebo, he preferred to bet a few pounds than paying a fine for not being able to fight. Meanwhile, in a tea. Lewis. The team had a pit bull, who was considered the best in the 20-pound weight. It was Greaser. Originally called Eubanks Greaser. If my information is correct. The Greaser of Eubank. He became champion in his first four fights. Greaser gave his fans a real reason to call him the best in 20 pounds. Their opponents were good dogs. From the caliber of Maloney's Alligator. And Mayfield's Go Devils. The team bought Greaser specifically for the TX fight. Tex was a good dog. And the team knew it needed an above average pit bull to win. And he was just the kind of dog they needed. So we have the ring set up. Ohio boys have a dog named Zebo. That until then the team did not know. The team had a dog named Greaser. It was win or lose time for old Zebo. Adams announced that he was in the fight, in Hudson's place. The night of the Battle of the Champions had arrived. The Greaser team already knew they would face Zebo. As soon as they arrived, they wanted to see this killer dog. When they saw him, they said laughing. He doesn't look like a killer. Neither Adams, nor any of his supporters, knew that Zebo would face a four-time winner. They should have known that the fans were coming west to Ohio to watch Greaser deal with this dog killer. Jimmy Job Editor of the Pit Dog Report Mayfield's Magazine About Bulldogs Drove all the way and didn't even mention the fight in his magazine. This fight was one of the best kept mysteries. The first time it was mentioned. It was in Richard Stratton's book. When you read his account. It tends to make you believe that Zebo got lucky. And that Greaser was bad at the beginning of the fight. This is not true. Greaser stood firm on all fours until the end of the battle. When the dogs were weighed, Zebo weighed just over 40 pounds. The greaser weighed exactly 20 kilos. Adams reminded his supporters before the fight. He said it gave an advantage of 2 kilos. And that he would stop the Zebo in 30 minutes. Because he had worked with him for only 3 weeks. And 2 kilos was too much to win easily. When they released the two champions, you could bet as much as you wanted on Zebo. You would get odds of 3 to 1, or 300 to 100. When the bets were placed, the name Greaser was finally spoken. Zebo fans suddenly realized that this match would not be a cakewalk. People started to worry about their bets. Adams had warned that he would stop with 30 minutes. If Zebo didn't get a big lead, when Dogman and Johnson pulled Adams aside about five minutes in and said that they had identified the Brindle Dog as Champion Greaser, there was no thought of Zebo leaving after 30 minutes. I knew I would let him fight as long as he had any chance of winning. I realized I didn't have the chance to go to Mexico to prove that Zebo was a great dog. The chance came to me. The course of the fight can be summed up in two sentences. Greaser is exceptionally defensive. Punishes Zebo mercilessly in the head. Zebo excels in attack. Mercilessly punishes Greaser in the chest. Although Greaser was acting with the usual skill, the defense. But as the fight went on he missed the defense in Zebo's attack. So Zebo won the fight becoming great Zebo champion. Unfortunately, Zebo later attacked Mr. Adams. Zebo nearly ripped his son's ear off. At the request of the wife of Mr. Adams. Zebo was sold, this time to Mr. Johnson. 
who also performed in a fight with him. The last time with his brother's son, Vindicator. Johnson expected to participate in another fight. But he could not find an opponent. Even though Zebo is in its eighth year. Thus, Zebo stopped fighting. It was used for procreation. Lived to be thirteen. He became a father again a few days before his death. He lost his eyesight due to extensive damage inflicted on him. During Zebo's career as a fighting dog. There were two other pit bulls. In your weight class. Who also named him. The Stinson and Glover's great champion art. And the Jeru, champion gunner, four times winner. It was planned to make a round robin to host a landmark match. Where each dog will go to the other. To prove who is the best fighting dog. But, for some reason. The matches never happened. Vindicator was a red-nosed dog. Many who witnessed his fights. Claim he was better than Zebo. He won two fights. Beating each one at the same time with. One hour and thirty minutes. One of those wins was over Finley's champion B.O. He lost his third match with Kutchin Fighter. Vindicator had health problems and died young of heartworm. Rosie, like the Vindicator, also had a red nose. But never officially competed in a match. But she passed the test in one hour and ten minutes. She was considered very valuable as a bitch. She lived to be ten years old. She too dying of heartworms a month after her last litter. From Zebo, she obtained champion Willie from Step. His mother Tomsic Spider Rom. Champion Willie is said by some to have the destructive power of his father, the Zebo. Killing each of your opponents in times of 27 minutes. And 29 minutes. Zebo is a great father figure to some of the best of them. Like Doc's champion MOE, who was a grand champion. Even fight Red B's champion Charlie. Many said that for the MOE. Time meant a lot in his loss to Charlie. After his victory over champion Fargo. And also his brother Basket. It was a lot of effort facing a younger dog like Charlie. The litter in which Zebo and his brothers were raised. It was one of those exceptional litters. The one that only come once. This creation was based on the cross Debois slash old family red nose slash Colby. Which explains why all of Zebo's littermates. They were red nose. But where did the black dog come from? Many people believe that Zebo was not from this litter. By the way, Mr. Hughes acquired Zebo from Lonzo without any papers. Some claim that Mr. Hughes sold many different Zebos. And there's no shortage of reasons to consider Zebo the half brother of another famous couple. Eli Jr. and Bully Son. And although Andy DeLonzo himself was a black pit bull. And Zebo had nothing but black puppies. Even when mated with bitches of many different colors. This still remains a mystery to many people that you could bet as much as you wanted on Zebo. You would get odds of 3 to 1, or 300 to 100. When the bets were placed. The name Greaser was finally spoken. Zebo fans suddenly. Realized that this match would not be a cakewalk. People started to worry about their bets. Adams had warned that he would stop with 30 minutes. If Zebo didn't get a big lead. When Dogman and Johnson pulled Adams aside about five minutes in and said. That they had identified the Brindle Dog as Champion Greaser. There was no thought of Zebo leaving after 30 minutes. I knew I would let him fight as long as he had any chance of winning. I realized I didn't have the chance to go to Mexico to prove that Zebo was a great dog. The chance came to me. The course of the fight can be summed up in two sentences. Greaser is exceptionally defensive. Punishes Zebo mercilessly in the head. 
Zebo excels in attack. Mercilessly punishes Greaser in the chest. Although Greaser was acting with the usual skill, the defense. But as the fight went on he missed the defense in Zebo's attack. So Zebo won the fight becoming great Zebo champion. Unfortunately, Zebo later attacked Mr. Adams. Zebo nearly ripped his son's ear off. At the request of the wife of Mr. Adams. Zebo was sold, this time to Mr. Johnson. Who also performed in a fight with him. The last time with his brother's son, Vindicator. Johnson expected to participate in another fight. But he could not find an opponent. Even though Zebo is in its eighth year. Thus, Zebo stopped fighting. It was used for procreation. Lived to be thirteen. He became a father again a few days before his death. He lost his eyesight due to extensive damage inflicted on him. During Zebo's career as a fighting dog. There were two other pit bulls. In your weight class. Who also named him. The Stinson and Glover's great champion art. And the Jeru, champion gunner, four times winner. It was planned to make a round robin to host a landmark match. Where each dog will go to the other. To prove who is the best fighting dog. But, for some reason. The matches never happened. Vindicator was a red-nosed dog. Many who witnessed his fights. Claim he was better than Zebo. He won two fights. Beating each one at the same time with. One hour and thirty minutes. One of those wins was over Finley's champion B.O. He lost his third match with Kutchin Fighter. Vindicator had health problems and died young of heartworm. Rosie, like the Vindicator, also had a red nose. But never officially competed in a match. But she passed the test in one hour and ten minutes. She was considered very valuable as a bitch. She lived to be ten years old. She too dying of heartworms a month after her last litter. From Zebo, she obtained champion Willie from Step. His mother Tomsic Spider Rom. Champion Willie is said by some to have the destructive power of his father, the Zebo. Killing each of your opponents in times of 27 minutes. And 29 minutes. Zebo is a great father figure to some of the best of them. Like Doc's champion MOE, who was a grand champion. Even fight Red B's champion Charlie. Many said that for the MOE. Time meant a lot in his loss to Charlie. After his victory over champion Fargo. And also his brother Basket. It was a lot of effort facing a younger dog like Charlie. The litter in which Zebo and his brothers were raised. It was one of those exceptional litters. The one that only come once. This creation was based on the cross Debois slash old family red nose slash Colby. Which explains why all of Zebo's littermates. They were red nose. But where did the black dog come from? Many people believe that Zebo was not from this litter. By the way, Mr. Hughes acquired Zebo from Lonzo without any papers. Some claim that Mr. Hughes sold many different Zebos. And there's no shortage of reasons to consider Zebo the half brother of another famous couple. Eli Jr. and Bully Son. And although Andy DeLonzo himself was a black pit bull. And Zebo had nothing but black puppies. Even when mated with bitches of many different colors. This still remains a mystery to many people. That was the story of the amazing Zebo. Press like and share. There will be another video for you. God bless you all went.